today uh, we are uh, going to be discussing about uh, making this kind of a rope and twist ring so it is very simple and then i'm going to show you all the commands let's get started so um, we are having at uh, the circle it's a uh, size 7 we are going to see what is the length of this so uh, we'll see the length of it I'm typing the command length so this is the length 57.048 so let's make a line 57.48 so uh, here we are going to ending I will choose this end it will snap to the end here and then controlling the shift so it will be straight and uh, 57.048 so that is the length and here we have it uh, we have the um, uh, the line right now this is the the rail line and this is the line that you know, once you put this line straight this is going to be the straight line so whatever we want we will be doing it on this line after that we will be flowing it into this i think so it becomes a ring so you know it will be very easy to work on the flat product okay let's get started typing zero Typing zero. Um, one point zero five. One point five. One point three. Let's keep one point three. Circle. C A R C L E. And then. Uh, go here. Just snap to the end then go to the right view type um, 1.25 mm so we get a circle here you know and then the very end of it so what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, offset uh, minus you know, I, I hope uh, you all know gumbo so we just use the gumball, use it here and then you know it, it goes a little further minus 0 0.25 minus 0.4 so it will so it is going here there, you know there is no little left so uh, now it has moved to the left and um, we are going to make three ring so for that we are going to be using um, command called polar array polar select the ring polar array polar yeah array polar okay the center is going to be center is going to be that okay and the number of uh, item is going to be three the reference is going to be now you know you see here you have to type the rotation you know what is the rotation we are going to be using this polar array it is going to be 360 degree so here we got always you know uh, try to click here if you click it here you will you will get it on the uh, z axis if you get it here only you will get it on the uh, x axis so here now you know we enter we confirm it okay so now we select all this type the command trim so we trim this we are going to trim all the inside so 
so this is the piece so now I am uh, pressing escape now selecting all these three join and do the rebuild also sometimes you know rebuild to be on the safe safe side no need so much like make make it 60 yeah so rebuild is done so here we have it so now we are going to use the command called extrude curve click here extrude curve you know you see automatically it comes here and extrude till here till that line you know till that line so we are going to be excluding ex you see ex extrude curve so there you go we got this piece so what we are going to do right now we are going to um, twist this so we are going to twist like 10 times um, twist type the command twist and uh, press this end uh, starting end and the line ending you know the, this is the line ending and type there and now come here literally you have to physically rotate click here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so we have made ten rotations so here we get the rope already you see this is the rope so perfectly it has come so we are going to be flowing this into this uh, to form a ring so for that we are going to use the command called we are going to go transform flow along the curve it will ask for the select the object this is the object and uh, se select the object to flow and enter plus the uh, base curve this is the base curve let me remove this you need to see this base, base curve so now we go to transform flow along the curve select the object and press enter and this is the base curve this you know this the curve which we made in the beginning this is the base curve and target this is the target so the ring has come see it has come in the bottom so in order to change uh, this on to the top so I'm going to teach you that so we we will change the seam of this uh, line uh, in order to do that click here See the sim is down. We have to put the sim up. Press enter. Now the sim has come on top. Now let's flow again. Transform. 
flow along the curve select the object target or the symbol come on the top see so the sim is here so you can put only any stones here and then cut it and do all kinds of things if you want to see this is not good see in here you know you you could have um, a ring you know it is getting into the way of a ring so what you have to do is click this curve extrude extrude curve both yes And then do a boolean boolean difference type the command boolean difference select the object see it has come now it is flat so if you if uh, anybody puts in the ring you know uh, the finger it will be flat like this inside so this will be the rope so the model is done this is how you have to create the rope pattern and uh, if you have uh, any requirements please leave me a comment a comment i'll be more than uh, happy to make you a free video and post it nothing is paid here everything is 100% free uh, and uh, if you want to learn in thailand you can more than visit uh, more than welcome to visit our office and uh, learn um, yeah, and then i'll be posting more videos for you to learn also thank you kindly like and subscribe our channel Thank you so much.